This is AC35 Daily Update. The second day of racing on the Great Bermuda Sound confirmed once again that this 35th America's Cup is an extremely open game. A win by the underdogs, a loss by the defender, and the consistency of the strongest challenger. Here is a Monaco Channel correspondent Nick Douglas with last night's post-race report. Hi Nautical Channel sports fans, my name's Nick Douglas, otherwise known as the Sailor Girl, and today the Louis Vuitton America's Cup qualifying series continued here in beautiful Bermuda. Let's get straight on to my pick of boat of the day, Groupama Team France. Not only my pick of the day, but the crowd, the media centre where we were, and also on board. It's the best reaction we've seen from a win, and I have to say it was really nice to see every single team out of these six get a score on the board, given the amount of work that's been put in over the past two years already for the 35th America's Cup. Frank was elated. And as I said, I think everybody was, except for Nathan Outeridge, the skipper of Artemis Racing, and probably all involved with Artemis Racing, who took the loss to Group Armour Team France. I think it was a bit of an expected win for Artemis. And as I said, everyone was so elated. Uh, it, it was just one of those ones that we thought was in the bag. Well done to Group Armour Team France, but Artemis Racing had to bounce back from that loss to take on Oracle Team USA. The defenders, and at that time today, the undefeated team in this competition. Not only did they take the win, they also pulled off a familiar hook manoeuvre at the start on Jimmy Spithill. The same manoeuvre that Frank Kamas actually pulled off on Artemis to take the win in the first race today. Racing not just ours but everyone else's because you could see it was a close race between Dean and Jimmy and then Dean sort of fell away um, and I think it comes down to how well you actually sail the boat. The equipment is also even and um, I think it's pretty foolish to, to blame any equipment on a day like today, it's more about how we handled ourselves. Yeah we, um, we just stalled out on the start and just couldn't hook up and basically they hooked us and we really had to follow them in. You know, I think the boys did a great job, you know, we fought them the whole way and Tommy played the cards he was dealt and did a nice job and we just, you know, it just didn't go our way. Okay, should be straight in here. Found it in. Now, Oracle Team USA, they did take that loss to Artemis, but they had two other races today, the only team to have three races. The first win was against Land Rover BAR, a matchup that we were looking forward to bet between Ben Ainsley and Jimmy Spithill, former teammates. But he also took on Team Japan. Their counterparts, their training partners, Dean Barker has become quite a close friend now of Jimmy Spittle, even given their history in the 34th America's Cup. But it was definitely a match-up that everybody was waiting to see. And I have to say that Oracle Team USA really walked away with that match. And it was interesting to see not only on a psychological perspective, but also on how much Oracle Team USA may have up against their training partners, SoftBank Team Japan. We'll have to see how that unfolds in the coming days. Now, Team Japan, we spoke about that matchup of Dean Barker versus Jimmy Spithill from the 34th America's Cup. Another historical matchup from the 34th America's Cup was held today out on the race course between Dean Barker and his former team of Emirates Team New Zealand. I think passions were a little high and Dean Barker did have control from the start after Emirates Team New Zealand sailed into a bit of a hole, reached across the top of them, held you know, control most of the way around the course only to lose it to Emirates Team New Zealand out of the right hand side and, and, and a bit of a shift that came into play. We uh, had two tough um, opponents with um, Oracle and Team New Zealand and uh, we had a good good start, good race uh, going with Team New Zealand and just made a couple of mistakes which um, let them back into it and you know, they, in the end they ended up passing us which was um, yeah, pretty disappointing and then the uh, yeah, second one uh, against Oracle we were reasonably close at the bottom of the first upwind and just again made a couple of mistakes and the race sort of dropped away from us so um, yeah frustrating. Well done to Emirates Team New Zealand there. Now, Emirates Team New Zealand came from behind in both of their matches today to take two from two. They are looking very slick 
and very speedy and one that should be watched, I have to say. Their pedal stools with the pedals just seems to give them this streamlined look and their tacks are looking beautiful and I did say that to Glenn Ashby today and he was very, very happy with their performance. So Emirates Team New Zealand, very, very smooth. They also beat Land Rover BAR coming from behind after having an, an early entry penalty, which is not something that we often see in match racing, uh, not at this level anyway. And I hope that they've gotten that off the, off the table leading into the, the more serious matches that we'll see in the coming days. I think just like yesterday, we've still got plenty to work on. Um, it's something that you know, we felt like the boat was going really fast. And, yeah, you know, we're sailing it uh, quite well, especially in the manoeuvres. But uh, you know, we've still got plenty, plenty to work on, just like all these teams. And I think the exciting thing for us was that you know we are on the pace and we're going fast enough. So you know, we just got to start putting the final touches on it. And you know, we still feel like we've got plenty to come. So you know, that definitely uh, keeps us motivated to keep pushing forward and keep improving. Tomorrow we will have three more matches in the Louis Vuitton America's Cup qualifying series. And someone that will come out with all guns blazing will be Ben Ainsley for Land Rover BAR. They suffered two losses today, and I think they were struggling a little bit with their boat handling, and Ben Ainsley said it was absolutely nothing to do with the damage that they had from their collision yesterday where they received a penalty when Dean Barker came up underneath them with the hook. He said it was absolutely nothing to do with that. His shore team worked brilliantly overnight to get the boat on the water, and then unfortunately the sailing team just let their shore crew down and, uh, and, and they didn't do them justice on the water. He said it was all about the manoeuvring. So hopefully they're able to find another gear when they come out tomorrow and we'll see plenty more action. But all I can tell you guys is that it's, it's shaping up to be fantastic. With two teams on one point each, two teams on two points each, Oracle Team USA on five points with one that they've carried over from the Louis Vuitton America's World Series and Land Rover BAR carrying over two points with them on three points in, in second position. So make sure you stay with me and stay tuned to the Nautical Channel. My name's Nick Douglas, otherwise known as the Sailor Girl, and I'll be back with plenty more updates soon. Stay tuned for tomorrow's AC35 Daily Update with Sailor Girl adventurer Nick Douglas and all the insider analysis from Bermuda. NC Sports, plunge into the action.